Hey everyone, welcome to Deep Dive Photography. Today we're reviewing the Fox Halo 96K power bank. Uh, it's a good power bank, it's designed for people, um, it's technically designed for fishing, but uh, you can use it for astro photography as well. Um, so it's for people who have to go out like me, or people that like to travel away uh, around the UK or the same country they're in. Uh, I've had this for about two years now, so uh, it's time to give us a bit of a review. So this power bank comes in two sizes, uh, 96K and 48K. So it's like uh, 96,000, 48,000 AH and AH. Um, this is roughly about eight inches long, uh, six inches wide and three inches thick. So it's quite a, this one's quite a meaty power bank. The uh, 48K version is slightly smaller. Uh, this weighs about three kilo, so it's not too heavy, it's not too light. Comes with a carry handle. Uh, in the box, it's literally, quite literally, quite a decent box, sturdy box comes with literally just the power bank, the charger, the changeover plug, so that could be so you can change over for different countries, etc. And the manual. So it's minimal in the box at all. Connection wise, we are looking at two uh, two 12 volt plugs, uh, cigarette lighter plugs, uh, two USB outs, a USB C in and out, and the uh, obviously the DC power point and also it comes with a, a power button. It also oh, I forget does come with a light don't use it very often, which is probably why I forgot it. Um, it's a light, it's not very, it's okay for, you know, close range, nothing too powerful. It's like an orangey colour and a white colour. It's okay for all that, but like I said, I don't use it. But yeah, it's not too bad. So like I said, this comes in two, two sizes. Uh, the difference in both of those is quite minimal. Uh, the 48K version only has one cigarette lighter output. The rest is generally the same. It's a little bit thinner, but the overall dimensions are roughly about the same. Apart from it's not uh, three inches, it's just under two inches thick. So it's a lot thinner. Apart from that, there's minimal difference apart from power size usage. Uh, obviously, like I said, it comes with one cigarette lighter on the other version, but we'll concentrate on the bigger version today. So the battery wise, is a, a lithium ion phosphate, yep, phosphate. Got, got it right the first time. Uh, battery, so it's a bit more suited for outdoors, um, not necessarily for cold weather, uh, but it's more suited for outdoors. Uh, it's quite a rugged uh, battery, it is self contained. Um, it's little, no pressures of it overheating or catching on fire, it's a bit more stable, so a little bit more expensive on that, mind you, because of that. But uh, generally, when I do use it, it is set outside in, I've had this out in minus 10 temperatures and it's worked fine, but I do cover it. I do use a, a Chinook. I cover it over with like some sort of scarf, a head scarf or anything like that. And uh, I'll cover the entire thing over it so the dew and the condensation doesn't get to it and freeze. Uh, I do that mainly because I just don't want water over it. So it just protects a little bit more. So it's probably, if you're going to use this for astro photography, I suggest you do cover it up. I've never tried it uncovered. Um, it does say it's for outdoor use. It's like I say, it's designed for fishing, but let's be honest, if you're fishing, you're inside a tent or a little, a little bivvy type tent. So it's generally under cover. So I'll, I'll definitely cover this up with some sort of a uh, clothing cough cloth material, uh, quite thick material, like a scarf or a snood, and uh, like a blanket over the top of it, just to get the water away from it. Now, this takes about 14 hours to charge. It's not a quick charge, it's a very slow charge. It's 14 hours with a DC pin, 5.5 mil by 3.5 mil pin, I think it is. Uh, but if you use the USB-C, you can get it down to a whopping 10 hours. So it's a, quite a slow charge. So if you're gonna uh, go out for the night, I suggest you charge, put it in first thing in the morning, put it on charge, let it charge up for the day. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll do that. If you're going to go out, if, uh, especially if you're unexpected, if you sort of get clear with it unexpectedly, and you do travel out like me. So I generally do charge this on uh, a Friday, 
um, just to make sure, just in case the skies do clear up and it's uh, unexpected. So overall charging wise, you get about 3,000 charges out of this. This varies depending on who you ask and where you see it. It's between two and 3,000 charges. Now, let's put that into perspective. If you charge this every single day, so you're using it every single day, you charge it to the max every single day, you get eight years out of this. I'm charging this once a week. This, if, it'll probably die from other reasons than the actual charger and battery dying. Uh, this will last about 50 years, which is a bit extreme and probably not uh, or realistic as such. But the charges are supposed to last for about 3,000 charges, so this will last a long time. Like I said, charge it every day, it'll still last you eight years. So this is a, quite a decent sort of power bank for that. The, um, what I run on it, is basically my entire setup on my dew heater. So for one port, I use my uh, mount. The other port will be from my ASI air, which I think goes to my ASI air into uh, the other port. So that'll be um, my camera. Uh, it'll be uh, the fan, the, the cool fan for the actual camera itself. It'll be for the EAF, and it'll be for the actual um, guide camera as well. So there is uh, quite a lot going into it. I do not run my dew heaters on this power bank. You can do it. It won't be a problem. The battery will last more than a night if you uh, don't use it. Uh, I've had this last nearly two nights without charging it between. Uh, it's all, I think it was on a winter night and I think it died about three o'clock in the morning, which is really annoying. Um, so you uh, you can use it for long periods, but it will last you a whole night. If you use two, two heaters on this, you should still get a whole night of it with no problems at all. It will depend on your dew heaters. The dew heaters uh, come very in power outputs. Uh, I have two of them, one which is really at my Supernoni, and that's a very low output. Uh, one, one of my 10K power banks will last the entire night, I only use half a battery. My other, other dew heater, it will literally use two batteries in one night. It depends on your dew heater. So you can use both your dew heaters if you're running it through the USB, no problems at all. It'll run it, it'll cope with it fine. As long as the output is covered, I'll put the stats of the ports on the screen because how if I can remember, I'm not gonna look down to every 10 seconds to try and tell you what it is either, so I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, you can run due here, there's no problem, but I run it separately, mainly because I don't want the, uh, obviously it's mainly the other power bank is so powerful, so juicy, to have a 20 mh for an entire night for one due here is extreme. It'll be able to do it, but I don't wanna risk it. I always try to take them on, I've got separate power banks from, I have to keep out of the way, it's just, it's, for me, it's just a rule thumb. it's not essential. You can run it, I wouldn't run it. So that'll be on, on that one there. Now, on my videos, I've only done a few at the moment, so depending on when you're using this, I use uh, free additives for, to rate these uh, items. It'll be pros, cons, and negatives. Your pros are your good things, your cons are your sort of bad things, but not an end of the world. And negatives is like, this really needs to change. It should, it should be better, or you know, it's not as uh, well as you're expecting. So positives, this has a lot of positives. It's very strong, very sturdy, quite a small, compact device. Um, even though I don't use it, it has a light. Uh, it will last all my equipment all night. As I just mentioned, it will last all night. No problems at all. It will probably last up to two nights, depending on what you run for it. Although I'd probably charge it between nights. It has a long, long life of 3,000 charges. Uh, it's uh, stable uh, than most other lithium batteries. Uh, it doesn't overheat. It won't catch fire. If you, if you punch it and expose it to the air, like other lithium batteries will, this won't catch fire. It doesn't overheat. Um, it's like I said, some lots of good positives on here. Uh, carry handle, so I mean it's yeah, it's got a lot of lot of lot of positives. It's rubbery feel, good strong, got a little couple of grips on the side. It's very very good. The negatives, well the cons, shall I say, it's not designed for extreme cold weather. Um, the battery doesn't like it. Uh, most batteries don't like it anyway. Um, you can run it in extreme cold weather. I do run it in extreme cold weather, but I do cover it. Um, I've never tested it because I don't want to waste it. Not out. I should really test it, but I'm not going to test it. I will always cover it up. Um, I've got a snood. I've got a cut. I've got a, a scarf. So I put a snood over the actual power bank, which you probably can see some of my videos, which I'll try and as I go talking about this, and I'll cover it over. I always do this just to protect the battery. It's only a small minor thing, so it's not the most thing in the world. Um, takes a while to charge them. That is a big one for me. Uh, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not a negative, it's just a, a con. Uh, it takes a while to charge up. Um, these aren't fast charging. Um, 
yeah, it's something you have to get. Have to 14 hours is a long time for a battery to charge up. And if you're charging it from the morning to when you go out at night, in the winter night, it gets dark at four o'clock, you put on charge at eight o'clock in, uh, eight o'clock in the morning, this thing ain't fully charged when you go out at night. So you need to have a plan in the head if you're gonna um, use this battery to charge it fully. Uh, the other downside is these type of batteries are quite expensive uh, compared to other lithium batteries. It's not in the row, it's not bank breaking, but 235 pound, it's expensive. So keep that one in mind. Negatives, there's only too high. I mean, the price, I could probably put the price as negative as, as the price as well, but I'll keep it as a com. It is what it is. These type of batteries are expensive. It's not because of the uh, people just charging it for the space like that. These type of batteries are expensive. The other negative for me is the handle. Now, while the handle is a good thing, it's very weak. So a little bit of breaking. The clips which hold them in here and here are made of plastic and not very strong plastic and it broke. These ideally should be metal, uh, connected however they're kicking. It's not my design, it's up to the manufacturer. The idea these need to be metal reinforced so they don't break. Apart from that, there's really next to no negatives. It's a very good, very sturdy uh, power bank. I've used it for about two years on my setups. I've run multiple setups through this, including my Rasa 8, Rasa 11, um, both my Sharp Stars, which will come up soon upon some time in the future. I've ran a lot of things through this. Never found me, never found me once. Chargers, or primary chargers. It has a couple of lights, which I never mentioned in the video. A couple of lights at the front to tell you the points of the battery life. So you've got four bolt lights in there, 25% of pop, so four lights, 100%, 75, 50, 25. When they're flashing, it'll tell you when it's uh, coming to the next stage below, so it's getting close to like this. So if you're at 100%, it starts flashing, it's close to 75%. That's how it tells you like that. So it's a very basic way of telling you, it tells you. That's the main thing. Apart from that, yeah, it's a nice power bank. It's, I can't complain, it's a good power bank. So anyway, guys, that's the Fox power bank. Uh, Fox Halo, uh, you can find it at most uh, angling shops. Might be able to find it on Amazon. I don't trust Amazon, mind you, but you can find it on there. I'd generally just go to a, a fishing shop. I found this on eBay new from a, an angling uh, store, funny enough. Um, I've not looked back. Fantastic mount. I uh, hope you like it, guys. Hope you like the video, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.